If a dog is eating a lot and even then losing weight, then this video is for you. Let's go for it. Hi, myself Dr. Deepak Arya and today we will talk about pancreatitis in case of dogs and cats. Well, in case of pancreatitis, there are few signs and symptoms which we should make it clear in our mind that uh, firstly dog will eat a lot even then he will not gain weight he will have greasy stools and very foul smelling he will have osteoporosis <clears throat> his eyes will become whitish or blurred vision will be there and along with that his coat will become very dry and uh, coat means his skin of course and along with that uh, he will vomit very often so if we see all these symptoms then we may suspect that it can be pancreatitis so let's go for the video and see that how it happens and how it can be cured and what are the reasons of course so what is pancreas and what is its function and how is it important for us well pancreas is a gland located near to the liver and uh, it produces basically three enzymes amylase lipase and protease Amylase digests carbohydrates, lipase digests fats and uh, protease digest proteins. So if due to any malfunction or any misfunctioning of this gland happens, then in that case digestion of carbohydrate, protein and fat get hampered and due to it the dog have greasy stools. So let's go for the reasons that why pancreas infection happens. So reasons for pancreatitis are uh, First is trauma. It may be possible that dog may jump from some place and lands in a wrong way. Or if somebody beats the dog with a stick or something like that, then pancreas may get damaged. Another is over medication and a lot of steroids some people give for uh, various reasons. So in that case, pancreatitis can happen and pancreas started start malfunctioning. Another is if we give our dogs high fat and high protein diet. See, uh, if you give your dogs a lot of chicken and a lot of fats, then in that case, or uh, if you give exclusively premium quality dog foods to our dogs, then in that case also because they have a lot of proteins and fats, then if you give that on a regular basis, then it can cause pancreatitis. So the rest is hypercalcemia. If you give our, our dogs a lot of calcium, if only 500 mg of calcium is required and you are giving 2500 mg of calcium, then in that case, it can cause pancreatitis. Rest are genetic causes in which we can't do anything. But uh, the above symptoms, which I have uh, reasons which I have told you, that is trauma, over medication, high fat and protein diet, and hypercalcemia, giving a lot of calcium. These we can control, and uh, pancreatitis can be controlled in a very uh, meaningful manner. So this is all for the reasons. So if we talk about food, then in that case, if a dog is having pancreatitis or is diagnosed or is prone to pancreatitis uh, then in that case we should not give him protein we should not give him uh, fat instead we should uh, rely more on uh, home cooked fresh food which is basically contains salads and uh, raw veggies and uh, water and multivitamins so this is all for the food for pancreatitis so regarding treatment part uh, if the disease is uh, in advanced stage then in that case fluid therapy and pain management antiemetics these are must for the dogs but uh, what we can do at home at home what we should do is that we prefer not to give him high fat and high protein diets on a regular basis especially processed foods with there are a lot of processed foods available in the market like we go to the restaurants and hotels and we do parties but we cannot do that thing on a regular basis. Same is the case with dogs. We should give them processed food. We should give them uh, high protein diets such as uh, chicken and mutton and whatsoever you want to give. But that should not be given on a regular basis. If you give them on a regular basis that it can develop pancreatitis. So it's a suggestion that uh, you should uh, feed them raw veggies as well and uh, multivitamins and uh, Try to avoid processed food as much as possible. It should be given but not on a regular basis. So if you do this then uh, we can save our dogs from pancreatitis and uh, live, make them live a better life. 
hope you have liked our video and if you have some suggestions or queries then you can mail me and uh, if i find it useful then definitely i will revert it back to you thank you